I see you've broken the New Year's resolution already. Huh? To turn up for work on time. Oh, sorry, Rodney. It's just first day back syndrome, innit? I want this place to go like a rocket this year, Danny boy. Blackstock's, Yorkshire's premier quality antiques outlet. Won't be down too well with Pearly Queen, will it? Oh, welcome home. At this precise moment, I can give my eye teeth to be back on the beach. <laughs> Cocktail in one hand, glory on the other. But duty calls, eh? Yes, and my workforce awaits. So, what about the Pearly Queen? Well, our agreement was for the Christmas period only. <laughs> Did you get that in writing? Oh, she's made her money. She'll be too happy to get out. No, she knows in her heart about it. There's no place for her bargain basement bric-a-brac amongst quality merchandise. I know you're in there, Jarvis Skelton. Come out and face me like a man. Yeah, here you are. Well, I was wondering whether you're up for a bit of extra dance practice. Oh, I know he's skulking in there behind his nets. Uh, man born to skulk was Jarvis. <laughs> well, he can skulk, but he can't hide. This garden used to be immaculate before he turned it into a midden. I'd save your breath if I was you. Only I saw him on his wagon an hour ago, heading towards Robbersfield. Then why in heaven's name didn't you say so? So, do you fancy a bit of practice? Excuse me. Tootsie needs a constitutional. Hiya. Terry, thank God. I didn't think I'd catch you. What's this about Dove? She rang this morning. They're breaking the cordon round the mill. Is that all? She wants to see me there. I don't like the sound of this, Terry. You mustn't let your imagination run away with you. You've just got to keep your nerve, stick to your story. you get through this fine. Terry! Didn't expect to see you. Yeah, he saw the police. He didn't want me going down there on my own. Ah, oh, that's thoughtful. Are you fit, love? Only the waiting. Get a move on, Sam. You know Pollard likes us back prompt after dinner. I was just saying hello to me dad. Oh, you're burning to the ground with them blessed candles. As long as they keep lit, he'll keep safe. Of course he will, love. Kane don't think so. He just keeps calling me a fat egg. Oh, I'll let you into a little secret. Kane believes it as much as you do. <laughs> oh, hiya, love. I'm sorry we haven't got time for a cuppa. Uh, Mr Pollard sent us home. No work. Oh. We told us we were going to be rushed off his feet this afternoon. Well, you know that delivery of famous composers? Oh, the bosoms. The busts. Yeah, we're supposed to be painting them today. Well, there's a work to rule at the docks. They're all stuck at the warehouse. <sighs> Still, gives me a bit more time to practice with Ashley. He's cancelled even song to come tonight. Oh. <laughs> Cha. Cha, love. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? Back to bed. Oh, no, you're not. We're off to see Pollard. Goose. Governor's waiting for you inside. I'll come in with you. No, I'd rather go alone. Why the police have to drag her back here, I don't know. Insensitive doesn't come into it. Oh, I wouldn't if I was her. It's gonna be a bit of a mess in there. Police don't exactly clear up after themselves. When my Vic went, it didn't seem real. Till I got back home. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. Right, first customers of the year. Let's start as we mean to go on, shall we? Oh, good afternoon, darling. Special offer today. Two for a fiver. Um, and as it's you, I'll even throw in a complimentary table decoration. How's that? Oh, you're just bring me an antique outlet. Uh, excuse me. Uh... Steph, have you got a minute? I think we should have a drink. Um, I'll be with you in a minute, Rodney. Danny, over here, gorgeous. Can you help me out? I'm brushed off my feet. May I help you? I don't have time for recriminations. I'm working on the keynote address for today's junior chamber lunch. <laughs> Without work, I won't be able to afford lunch, let alone dinner. Regrettable, I admit, but one of the perils of casual employment. But you can't just lay us off, not just like that. I'm deeply sympathetic to your domestic situation. I am genuinely sorry that your husband has up and left you. Zack is working abroad. Be that as it may. For as long as the docks are working to rule, I have nothing for you to do. When the bus arrive here, we'll be back in business. Ah, until then, eh? We've got to fend for ourselves. 
basic economics, Lisa. The inquest begins next week. The coroner's office informed me this morning. I knew you'd want to be the first to know. You dragged me all the way down here just to tell me that. I presume you'd want your keys back. It's chilly in here, isn't it? Yeah, well, what do you expect? Heating's been off for a few days. Of course, you've not been back since it all happened. Can't be easy. Well, I know it sounds like a cliche, but I keep expecting Ray to walk through the door, throw his coat on the chair and pour himself a drink. How much did you know about Ray's business dealings? I told you, we've been through all this. He had a few nightclubs. One in Newcastle, one in Leeds. Yeah, we know about his legitimate activities. But for a small-time club owner, he seemed surprisingly well-connected. And from what I hear, it was well known that you didn't cross Ray Mullen. And one, two, three, and one, round. Oh, Laurel! Ow! Wrong foot! Sorry, I'm never going to get this right. It's all about attitude. Think posture, think style, poise, grace. Neck like swans. And imagine an invisible wire going right up your backbone, right up to the ceiling. And a one, one two, three, turn. turn. Poise oh. and grace, not baby elephant. Oh. Your magazine, Ashley. Oh, don't stop on my account. We wanted to get a bit of extra practice in. I think someone wanted to polish up her footwork before she got her hands on you tonight. Viv! <laughs> I just don't want to let you down, Ashley. Oh, there's more chance of me being the weakest link. Not a man of natural rhythm. Of course you are. I've seen you tapping your foot to sing Hosanna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are, Vicar. An outrage, that's what this is. What now, Edna? Cancelling Evensong without so much as a by your leave if, if the bishop were to hear of this. He would applaud my ingenuity. Seeing as the majority of my congregation are going to be practising their footwork in the village hall, I thought a change of venue might be in order. The Lord won't object to us praising him through dance, would he? Ladies? It's all right for him. He's not got three dependents and all manner of livestock to support. Don't cry, Lisey. It's just something to me, I. I wish my dad were here. He won't be crying if my dad were here. Yeah, well, he's not, is he? You can have my life savings if you want. I've got £15. I hid it from Kate. There's no need for that, Sammy. Not yet. Get me another drink. I thought you said we couldn't afford booze no more. You said... Needs must. This is an emergency. Wouldn't serve her if I were you. She turns funny when she's had a drink, especially when there's men around. That makes two of you, then. I bet she can't get through lunch without a cat fight. See, so she's starting already. I only get my claws out, Nicola, when I'm provoked. I'm just a pussycat. Aren't I, Rodney, darling? <clears throat> now, sweetheart, you've got your little worried head on. What's on your mind? I'd like to discuss our arrangement up at the barn. Oh, I think it's working a treat. We did agree to review matters in the new year. Well, I thought that was best. You know, keep my options open before I committed myself. Yeah, I think we should talk about your presence there, how it's affecting my trade. Oh, without the punters I drag in, that place would be empty most of the time. Yes, but your target market, well, then, it's hardly the calibre of customer that I'm looking for. As my old granddad used to say, Never judge a book by its cover. Now, is that it? Because I have left Danny holding the fort. And he's a nice kid, but he ain't got the killer instinct. Know what I mean? <sighs> See you later. So he never mentioned any particular problems, anxieties, conflicts? He never discussed business with me. Why would he? It could be that Ray's illicit activities and your stalker were connected. Someone may have been stalking you to get at him. Maybe Ray was aware of that. There was no sign of a forced entry into the house on the night he died. It's probable that Ray knew his assailant. Sorry, I feel sick. Down here. You've had a shock. Have a 
good mind to complain. You'd think the police would have more sense. I'm sure she thinks he was murdered. Someone's been reading too many detective stories. I don't believe a word of it. Who'd want to murder Ray? Oh, they've got to ask questions. Just to cover their backs. See where he'd fallen. You're bound to be upset. Going there must have brought it all back. All I could see was Ray's body lying there, cold, still. He won't leave me alone. He's haunting me. It's lovely, isn't it? It's perfect. Yeah, I see what you mean. She's driving me demented. I mean, she's so self-centred. And she's under the delusion that she's irresistible to men. Well, you can't afford the rent on your own. I used to have my life sorted out. Now I'm reduced to sharing a slum with a nymphomaniac market trader. <laughs> It won't be forever, Princess. Give no thanks to you. Why the hell don't you chuck her out? I'm working on it. You know, she thinks all she has to do to get a man to do what she wants is bat her eyelashes. I thought you were a bit more discerning than that, Dad. So did you have a word with her, then? I'm working on it! Just biding my time. So when? Next Christmas? Make sure she gets this down now. But when you're ready, Diane. Be with you in a minute, Seth. Are you all right to stay? I don't want her left on her own. Well, sure, I'll phone Chris. Where's Skin? And she's just drinking the housekeeping. It stimulates the little grey cells. So? I ain't got no left to sell. Not that anyone wants to buy. Except the pigs. The brain, lad, the brain. Well, Sammy, love. Uh, fetch me the phone book and any loose change you got left. I've got a tip for you. Ratchet catcher, 3.30 to Morris Sexfield. Inside information says it's a debt cert. Dead? 20 to 1. It's worth a punt, only don't let on you heard it from here. Come on, Sammy, love. I haven't got all day. Get your skates on. <laughs> Lead with the other leg. The other leg. Now, Len, remember, dancing is a vertical expression of a horizontal desire. Mind you, seeing as you're dancing with Edna. <laughs> that is the mark of true vulgarity, Viv Hope. To reduce the most innocent pastime to the level of fornication. Oh, well, if you can't take a joke. Oh. You're a passionate woman when roused, Edna. I've got a bone to pick with you, Jarvis Skelton. And I've got one to pick with Len first. I will not be fobbed off. I have made a complaint to the parish council. Your rubbish collection is out of step. You are? It's unsynchronised, out of front. It's a flaming joke. Oh, that rubbish. I'll see about it when we're done here. Disgraceful. Lecturing poor Len when your property is in such disorder? Look, Edna, if you've had enough, for heaven's sake, sit down. You're blocking my flow. The case is solid walnut. Legs beautifully turned with fine gilding. Strings are intact. Original keys. Well, I'll leave you to think it over. Mr. Blackstock will, of course, arrange to have the instrument finely tuned at no extra cost. He'll even bung in the piano stall at half price. Imagine yourself, if you will, sat there, running your fingers over the ivories. Chopin, Mozart. I tell you, she's that old, she could be Mozart's own personal Joanna. I'll take it. Wise decision, sir. Uh, Mr. Blackstock, would you take over from here, please? Dove's looking for the stalker. She's convinced it's some criminal associate of Ray's. Oh, she's going to get nowhere and give up. I mean, she just thinks that someone else was involved. She's got no evidence placed in anyone at the scene and no motive. Yeah, but if she finds out Ray's the stalker, it's a completely different story for me. Ray wasn't stupid. He'll have covered his tracks. I hope he did. How are you feeling? I'm better, thanks. Make a list of everything you need from home and Terry will fetch it for you, if that's all right with you. Sure. Thanks. 
You've been very brave, Louise, but you're still grieving. It's early days yet. Look at the effect all this has had on you. Best thing for you to do now is stay put. Let me look after you for a bit. So, how did it do? Like you were wearing lead Wellington boots. That woman's toes will be called recall by morning. I'm trying my best. It's just my feet. They won't do what my brain tells them to do. I've seen more graceful footwork from a shire horse. Your house, sharpish. <laughs> Where are you two sloping off to? A bit of business. Oh, the only business you can be doing with him is funny business. You are spending far too much time with Mr Skelton, if you ask me. Are they better? Your little grey cells. Oh, don't talk, Daft. So I ain't got the energy. Not it's what Seth calls your brain. Oh, that has been working overtime. I have a plan. So have I. O only mine's a secret plan. What sort of secret plan? The sort of secret plan that my dad would have come up with. If this has got out to do with gambling, you can forget it because that's what got us in this mess in the first place. Oh, Laurel, you're not going to roll over and let Pollard walk all over here, are you? There's no work, then there's no work. It's not Mr Pollard's fault. Yeah, but if we all stand together, he's bound to take notice. We should have industrial action. Well, can we when there's no industry? Anyway, last time I went on strike, I ended up out of my ear. Sorry, Lisa. Betty, be ashamed of you. She wouldn't let Pollard get away with it. <sighs> so, if the workers won't unite, I will have to unite the workers, won't I? Come on, Sam. Keep up. What's this? How did she get on? Sorry? She took it hard, didn't she? She loved that man to pieces. You just had to wash the two of them together. Soulmates they were, just like me and my bob. <laughs> well, you, me and my bob. You what? I'm a dove, and I'm offering you the olive branch again. What? When Bob told me what you said to him last week, I thought, there's a man who's hurting, so I said to him, let me throw myself on Terry's mercy and try again. I'm so sorry we doubted you. I'm sorry we thought you were some kind of stalker pervert. Please, let's just put it in the past. Let's just be friends again. OK. What? We all make mistakes, Viv. Just try and have a bit more faith next time. <sighs> Slow. Slow. Quick, quick. Ouch! Oh, oh, God. Oh, it's no good. Look, I've got three left feet. Oh, look, look, it's just a matter of empathy. You have to throw yourself into it. This isn't Len Reddles having a bit of a dance. This is Ace Hoofer, Leonardo Rinaldo, giving the performance of his life. But that don't cure the foot problem. They just won't do what I want them to. Look, you've got to stop thinking of them as mere appendages. Your plates are the instruments with which you direct your symphony. All right. Yeah, just think them into submission. Visualise yourself dancing on a tightrope rope suspended above a vat of molten lead. Right. You don't want to plummet to a grisly death now, do you? Oh, no. No. So, let's try again. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Eh? Uh, uh, ju just imagine the flames beneath licking at your ears. Right. Slow, slow. Good. Oh, come on. Look, 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 look. Just, 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 just do as I do, man. Eh? Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. I've got it. I <laughs> <laughs> thunder. I've got it. So you have. <laughs> we'll get you through this competition yet. <laughs> <laughs> From the Pearly Queen. Cheers, partner. Oh, hiya. I thought you were going out. Well, I fancied a drink with you first. Well, then might a pint. Oh, uh, Betty rang. She sends it up and she says she misses you and you're not spend too much time in the pub. If she hadn't abandoned me, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> Thought you'd be soaking your corns after all that dancing. I think we don't want you overdoing it, do we? It takes months to build up to competition standard and, well, at your age, your stamina isn't what it used to be, is it? I could teach you a thing or two about stamina. Hmm, well, you have to have passion oozing from every pore to dance well. And if you don't mind me saying so, when I think Edna Birch, passion's the last word that comes to mind. Unlike some, I don't confuse passion with unbridled lust. Oh, let's face it, Edna. You and Len are more like Morecambe and Wise than Margot Fontaine and that Russian fella. 
If I were you, I'd cut my losses before I really show myself up. But I can do it. I wouldn't have thought crossing a picket line would be allowed in the Dingle Moral Code. Well, it's not crossing the line. They're working to rule. Anyway, I can pick them up myself. Out of the question. Now, if you don't mind, I'm expecting a call from Gloria any second. <laughs> I can be very persuasive when pushed. I don't want to dampen your enthusiasm, but you're a peace worker in a factory. Industrial negotiations are a delicate matter. Huh. When you've lived with the Dingles as long as I have, it's second nature. Now then, how much to deliver the load and get the girls back to work tomorrow? Uh, and me. And Sam. I'll make it worth your while. Oh, not good enough. How much? Fifty. Huh. 250. 200. <laughs> it's a deal. Uh. Come on, Sam, let's go. Are you sure you're fit for work? Yeah, best thing to keep busy. I want to thank you, Diane, for being a better mate than I actually deserve. You've tried to be brave, but it'll take time, Pet. You've still got friends who care about you. Why don't you let them look after you for a while? Yeah, stop right there. Be nice to me again, and I'll probably start crying. I'm off. Wish me luck. You're not going to bingo, are you? Going clubbing. And I'm wearing my lucky pants. <laughs> don't wait up, will you? I hear Steph's been teaching you a thing or two about sales techniques, eh, Rodney? Now, she struck lucky. As a rule, her customers think they've splashed out if they have to part with a pound coin. Well, at least they're buying. And we have to shift that piano. I need the space. I've got my Easter delivery coming in the morning. Oh, <laughs> cute! <laughs> I tell you, they're going to sell like hot cakes. We're going to be twice as busy as we were at Christmas. No, 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 no! All right, I can take a hint. I'll pay me way, I'll contribute. Fifty quid, do you? Five hundred. Five thousand. Five hundred thousand wouldn't do it. Not now, not ever! I don't want to have to listen to you gossiping all day on your mobile. And if I hear you doing one more special deal with a customer, I shall lose the will to live. You are out, evicted, ejected. Do I make myself clear? 